Well, a Bryan, Ohio student was set to graduate this Sunday, but instead he will be protesting. Chase Bachman joins us live in studio tonight. So Chase, why isn't he going to walk across that stage to get his diploma? Well, Jeff, Jay Rober graduated early from Bryan High School. He was all set to walk at graduation this Sunday, but the school is referring to Jay by a different name, and that is why Jay's made the decision to skip the ceremony altogether. Jay Rober said he was bullied in his time at high school. I just got bullied and mocked the whole time. I didn't really have any friends. The kids would call me like slurs and names that they would make up themselves. He worked hard to graduate early and in March got all the credit he needed to earn his diploma from Bryan High School at just 15 years old. Jay is also a trans male and the name on all of his legal documents are different than the one he uses. Though he graduated early, the school says it gives every student a chance to walk on graduation day. A few weeks later, Jay asked the school to use his preferred name. They had told me that I could walk and that they would use my preferred name, but then changed their minds. In a statement to WTOL 11, Bryan City Schools explains a diploma is a legal document and must be issued under the student's legal name. But Jay says all he wants is the school to read his preferred name out of respect for his identity. The kids at school would use my dead name to bully me. So obviously it would be embarrassing and so disrespectful for me to have to go up in front of all of those same kids and get called it once again. The district writes, if a student pursues a legal name change, BCS will honor the legal name change and also ensure it is reflected on the legal document. Rober says he's already working on that process, but it won't be complete until after graduation. In the meantime, Jay has decided to sit commencement out as a form of protest. It's not like we're asking for like a big thing. I just want to be shown that there are people at the school who are actually proud of me for what I did. Now we posted the school's entire statement online explaining its policy. Meantime, Rober's mom says members of the community have rallied behind them and they are organizing their own graduation ceremony for Jay. He will walk across his own stage next month. Reporting live in studio tonight, Chase Bachman for WTOL 11.